Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am so excited for today's video because I've got a lot of stuff to show you. So today you would have seen that I will be showing you what's new in my wardrobe, but this is over the last few months. I have also been shopping a lot for my holidays. So a lot of things are towards that trip and I kind of planned my purchases over a couple of months. So there's lots to see. I've got Mr. Price, H&M, Woolies, uh, Shein and Superbulous and Refinery. So those are six brands um, where I got stuff from and let us get right into it because I want to get through this video and not be going on for 30 minutes, but also I'm going to do it by category. So I'm going to start off with the accessories. Some things you may have seen in my vlogs, but if not everybody watches my vlogs, I think this is a good opportunity to get a recap and see what is new. So yeah, let's get right into it. Let us start with bags. So can we please take a moment to appreciate this Jacques Mousse dupe that I got from Mr. Price. I am completely obsessed with this little bag. It is I think the same size as the Jacques Mousse original dupe, um, well, original brand. And Zara has this bag for about 600 and something rand. I did see it in store, but I just felt it was a lot of money for a bag that is so small. This one was from Mr. Price for 159. So please go get your hands on this one. It is absolutely beautiful. I like the black, but they also did have a orange and a green as well. So I felt this was so cute. I absolutely love it. And I'm definitely taking this on my trip. So that's the first bag. The next item I have is, well, another bag. And this one you would have seen in my vlog. If you do watch my vlogs, this is a country road crossbody bag. This one, I have been wanting this bag for a very long time. It is just this beautiful camera bag and it's got this branded strap, uh, which I also like. And I also like the gold detailing that is on the bag. The So I think I can give you guys a bit of a review is to say that I wanted to use this bag as my everyday bag. Um, I feel like it's really amazing quality. So it was about a thousand rand. So it was quite pricey, but I absolutely have been in love with it. And I know a lot of people who have it and what i will say is that this bag is actually not that practical it's really really stiff so i find that getting things in and out of here is quite a mission so i've got my phone is also quite bulky and getting everything in and out is just a bit of a mission to be honest it's been a little bit disappointing in the practicality of it but as a bag i love it i'm still definitely gonna wear it but it's just a little bit annoying i also find that this color works so well with all the items in my wardrobe i think even my phone cover is this color so um this was something that i had on my wish list for a while but yeah i'll keep wearing her i'll keep showing her some love but just an fyi if you are thinking of getting this bag okay so this is another bag that i got from mr price this one was also 159 and metallic is in fashion at the moment it's on trend metallic everything so i wanted to bring in metallic into my wardrobe but i don't want to over invest in this particular trend not yeah not too much i think i might just get another pair of shoes but i wanted to try this bag and i really really like it i have not used it yet but it is quite spacious and i think it will come in handy i love a shoulder bag it's very structured very cute but um, I'm looking forward to wearing this one. I did say as well that, you know, I was just worried about the scratching. So I think it's something I'm gonna to have to take into consideration when I do wear this bag. Right, so keeping to accessories, um, the first one I wanted to mention are these earrings. So these I got from H&M and while I was there, I also got a gold necklace. So this is amazing for layering. So the one is just like this gold plain strap and then the other one, has the beads on it. I really love it. I think it's cute and I I like wearing things like this. They make an outfit look a little bit more interesting, specifically the ones with two items on it. So this is my second one and these earrings are my go-to. I've bought pairs like this from Mr. Price many a time and I saw them at H&M and I thought I would get them. And then keeping to earrings, so I got these Bottega dupes, you guys, if you are on fashion TikTok, you may have seen these a billion times. Um, these are from Shein. So Bottega, Veneta, the 
very high-end brand has these earrings and all the celebs have been wearing them but it's only just a tea um a teardrop shape that's all it is and they look so nice the only thing i will say i don't know if you guys can see but they are very bright gold like a very yellow gold where this one is more like a darker that's the only thing i noticed but i mean i'll only be wearing these on their own so i don't think it'll look bad i just think um it's just something that i did notice and i know they have these in silver as well so if you're into silver or wanting to try the metallic trend this would be great i'm actually putting them against my ear for the first time and i really think these are gonna look fabulous so yeah i think these guys were like 55 rand or something like that from shein so you will find that over there and i think on the topic of shein there's two things that i want to say i know that not everybody likes shein um but i think it's important to note that i buy things that i want to buy and then i make content right i don't think of oh let me what can i create content around and go shopping around that so i like shein um if you don't like it i'm very sorry but i like shopping there and oh the second thing i wanted to say around shein was that i have seen on tiktok a lot of people saying that the taxes have gone up quite a bit my order that i had put in recently was about a thousand rand and i was very lucky and i only paid 140 rand but just something to note if you have been thinking about trying shein that just factor in the money that you're gonna need for the taxes as that has gone up quite a bit right now that that's out the way continuing with accessories another shein purchase i mean ha <laughs> guys come on how cute are these sunglasses this says summer it says like i'm in a good mood right so i love these sunglasses and i'll show you guys why i bought them i've got a purple bodysuit or a lilac bodysuit that i also bought you remember from my fashion trends video i also said lilac is in um as a fashion trend at the moment as a color trend so this is my take on bringing in more purple into my cupboard and i'm really loving how these look and then sticking to sunglasses i also got these from woolies and oh i'm looking like i got money <laughs> i love these so where i got the inspo from i went for breakfast with my mom two weeks ago now i think it was on woman or three weeks women's day and my mom had these sunglasses and like i said i wear a lot of cream a lot of cream as you will see and i wanted to get sunglasses that go with the cream look and i found these to be perfect i've got the perfect outfit for them for my upcoming trip so make sure you follow me on instagram if you want to see what my uh, vacation content looks like and what my vacation outfits look like so these were 199 from woolies and i really think they're fun so i like adding sunglasses as a fun element to my clothes it's a great way to accessorize and just bring in you know a little bit of pizzazz to an outfit if even if like the clothes that i'm wearing are are plain and then the last accessory i've got quite a few things here okay the last accessory is this little scarf so this is also from woolies and it's just giving summer vibes so what this is so like you just twist it like this and this is something that you can wear in multiple ways you can either tie it around a bag so like the handle of a bag so if i had to take this one and tie it like that okay, obviously you want the the brighter side to be showing but this is just an example of if you have a nice shoulder bag you can add this there but the reason why i bought this is that on vacation i am putting in a lace wig <laughs> by pools and ocean but i'll deal with that later but what i wanted to do was to create like a hair band using this so i like the colors and i feel like it's so nice and lively so this is why i bought this and i think it's gonna be absolutely fabulous and i think also on the plane like i said i'm, I'm putting on a lace wig i think on the plane i'm actually gonna use this as my duke for the trip as well so this is gonna be like a double thing 
Um, I can't, I think this was about 150 Rand. Shein has a lot of these as well for like a fraction of that cost. But I really, really liked this um, pattern and it really just screams summer. Alrighty, let's move on to shoes. So at Mr. Price, I picked up these gorgeous sandals. They were 89 Rand 99 and they are just the perfect beachside flip-flop. I've got an orange swimming costume that I'm planning on wearing with these. Um, and I think they're like a low cost, low effort type of shoe. And I do love wearing orange this time of year. So I feel like this is gonna come in quite handy for the times when I don't necessarily want to wear heels because I've got orange heels as well. And yeah, I can't fault them. I think they're gonna come in quite handy. And then another pair of shoes. Ah, oh, look at these babies. So these are from Foshini. I actually got these yesterday. And I love how, okay, they're all like twisted now, but this wraps around the leg, right? And what, the reason why I bought these is because I have a pair that I bought from Shein not so long ago but those ones the string you have to like manually tie it and if you've ever worn shoes like that i think they look amazing but they can be burdensome if you don't tie them correctly whether they're too tight or too loose or that string keeps falling so when i saw these at Foshini and i see that obviously this i don't have to tie it at all it stays up and it wraps around the foot i was sold so these shoes were 4.59 and it was a bit more than I wanted to pay, but they're exactly what I wanted. And I think that them having this little heel over here also makes it look a little bit more sophisticated, whereas the other ones were like completely flat. So I feel like these can look a bit dressy. So yeah, I'm very happy with these and they are definitely coming on the trip with me. Now let us get into clothing, the part i think that everybody's here for um okay so first of all i got this top this is just a plain t-shirt that i got from shein it was about 99 rand it is such a classic i'm going to wear this to death and i have a long sleeve version of this that i wore a lot during the colder months and based on that i knew if i got a short sleeve one i would wear it all the time i feel like it's so classic so easy to dress up and i'm absolutely in love with it i got a size small um, it's very comfortable and yeah, I've got nothing else to say, but it's a fabulous t-shirt And then something else that I got from that same Shein order is This dress in pink in my other Shein haul and I loved How that dress fits on me and the color and I wanted to wear a green one as well because I've got a green pair of sunglasses that I haven't had the chance to wear um, I got them from my sister. She gifted them to me. So this is then the dress, which I'm really, really, really excited about. And unfortunately, I don't have a picture in it. Um, like I said, I've got the pink one. This is my second buy and it also just fits like a dream. And then sticking to green, I also got this top from Shein. It's very loud, very bright, very summer is here, whether you like it or not. I know like there's some winter babies probably who are watching this but your time is over okay we're here this is screaming spring screaming fun and good times so i really like this top again i wanted something to match with my green sunglasses so that i have opportunity to wear them and also something that just really stands out so i actually wore this the other day about two days ago i was creating content for a client so this was just like a perfect bright item to include. So this one, I can't remember the price. I'm not going to lie to you, but I'll definitely insert a screenshot. And then lastly, when it comes to tops, here is the bodysuit that I was telling you guys about. It's nice and stretchy. It's got this zigzag. It looks a lot darker on camera than it is in reality. But this to me feels very similar to how the Zara bodysuits feel. And this is just, I have, to be honest, I haven't put it on yet because I just put it in the washing and I didn't wear it. So I always wash my Shein clothes before I wear them. Um, but I mean, so far it looks great. And I know that because at the back you can adjust the straps, I think it'll fit just fine. And again, this with the purple sunglasses is a look, okay? So I'm really, really excited about this one. 
Right, so moving on to dresses. Oh, no, I'm not done with tops. The last top was this one. So again, I mentioned this in my fashion trends video, but this is just a t-shirt that I got from Mr. Price. It's got this metallic um, graphic on it and it was, I think it was 99 Rand 99. Basic t-shirt. I'm going to wear it um, as part of the metallics trend with the handbag. So nothing much to say about this but yeah just another t-shirt okay so dress wise so this is a bodycon midi dress that i got and i am so excited about it so what i do like is that it's a boob tube but it's got this so this um taping over here so that it stays secure so that's always a nice feature because these things tend to slip off it is a tool fabric and like i said in my fashion video that's in and yeah i love how they've done it with this dress so i just want to be like an island girl do you guys see the vision do you see the vision so I'm definitely gonna wear this to the beach or something which is so cute i do find though i actually wanted the green one um but the day i saw the green one in store i was in love with it this was about 550 rand and i thought oh it's fine i've got enough clothes for the trip but then when i saw the orange i was like no ways i'm buying it i'm buying it i'm buying it and 550 for a zara dress is really affordable because their dresses can usually start from like 7.99 upwards so i really found that this was good value for money it is a teeny 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 teeny, teeny bit see-through but i think it's okay because i want to wear it to like a beach situation but if you are wanting to buy it just be careful um maybe try the green or they've even got another one that's like a black so just fyi okay and then another dress that i have is this beautiful maxi dress that i got from superlative so i actually got this dress on sale it's a beautiful maxi dress it is just so loose flowy and it's got this um <laughs> i can't remember but pleated that's the word i'm looking for it's got this pleated uh fabric and it is just giving flowers and leaves on it and i love these colors i think it's absolutely beautiful i was looking for like a nice black maxi dress but I think this one definitely fits the bill because it is giving maxi, also giving summer vibes, happy, flowy, comfortable. So 1000% happy with that one. And then the last two items. So the other one is a puffer jacket. I've already packed away all my winter, winter stuff. So I'm just going to insert a picture of the puffer jacket. It is absolutely beautiful. It's beige. It is practical and it feels so like luxurious and smooth. That jacket was a thousand rand and I am so looking forward to wearing it next season. So I got it a bit late in the season. So I didn't get a chance to wear it because it needs like super, super cold weather, but it's not too heavy, but because it's nice and long, I know it's just going to be that perfect protection from the elements in winter. And of course it looks so cute. So I'm really, really looking forward to wearing that one. And then the last item I have is, might be a surprise. <laughs> My sister was very instrumental in inspiring me to get this kind of jacket because I was going to a L'Oreal event not so long ago and I wanted to wear this other dress, but it was too open and that day was particularly cold. And my sister has this jacket and she always wears it in winter. And I don't know how many times I've been like, I need to get that jacket. I need to get that jacket because it's nice and dressy and you can wear it over evening wear, but it's also like warm and practical. And it looks, it looks, I mean, it looks cute. So I just decided to bite the bullet and buy it. And even though I'm not going to wear it anytime soon, I do think it's one of those things that I'll have in my wardrobe for a long time and I will not regret buying it. So this is a Shein purchase. This was about 450 Rand. I've seen Mr. Price do these jackets also um i think my sister got hers from mr price and that weekend she happened to be in cape town when i needed to borrow it so i finally got my own and i'm really really excited about 
having backup when I need to go to an event and it is super cold outside. That brings me to the end of today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you've made it this far, please do like and subscribe this video. Well, like this video and subscribe to this channel if you did enjoy my content and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.